Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy and Putty God is back with another unboxing. But first, I do want to mention that I got a new mic, so I hope the quality has improved. Now, I know the last mic I got was just total garbage, so I ended up paying a little bit more to get a nicer quality mic, and uh, I hope it comes out clear and crisp um, like it used to. But anyway, we're going to be unboxing the best launcher ever. Now, this is a LR string launcher, and the cool thing about this is that it's the Korean release. And we're going to get a little bit more into that in a little bit, but basically, I'm going to say this is the best launcher ever for a few reasons. And uh, just because here is my current one from Takartomi, Japanese release. It's a string launcher that spins both left and right. And it doesn't have a lot of rotations, but it's just extremely powerful. So that is why it's the best launcher. And I figured I'd get the Korean release because it's much cheaper. I think I only paid about 15 for this. Meanwhile, the Japanese release is about 30 or more. So it's definitely sought after. And what I'm gonna be doing is comparing them if there's a difference at all. And at the end, I'll let you guys know and I'll link you guys to the eBay listing so that you can get your own if it is as good as the Japanese one. So let's open it up right now. All right, so another thing I wanted to mention is that this launcher is just really common amongst any kind of blader. Uh, even your favorite Baytubers use it. It's like the standard competitive bladers use it. It's just extremely, extremely powerful and versatile because it is left and right spin and it's extremely sought after. So um, we're going to go ahead and open up the Korean release and here is the packaging for you guys to see. So you guys can tell that the packaging is a little bit different. Of course, the writing is in Korean and it has a sticker for Korean Toy Shop. That is the seller I got it from. Extremely trustworthy seller. Be sure to check them out. Um, they have really good prices for uh, their stuff. And then on the back, just some more basic info in Korean. And yeah, I'm just really surprised that it's this cheap because the Japanese release was out for a while now and it's just kind of hard to come by. Um, so I'm really glad that the Korean release is now available. And uh, I really hope it's the same thing. So we're gonna open it up right now. And we're gonna see how good it is. So you even get instructions with this one. I don't even think the Takarotomi one or the Japanese one came with it. There's a QR code. I wonder if it works for the Japanese app, but it might not. There's also another kind of slip on some info and then the instructions. Now, once again, I don't think the Japanese release ever came with these instructions. Um, I don't understand any of it, but it basically tells you how to use it and it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing else to say about it. But here is the Korean release. So you guys could see it. It is the exact same color, same everything, but I'm just feeling it right now. Um, this might sound weird, but the Korean one feels a little bit more lighter and the plastic feels a little bit more rough, if that makes sense. Um, wow, it's also extremely smooth. And I don't know if it's because it's brand new or if it's just how it's made. The locking mechanism, it works, perfect. So you can switch it from left to right. And uh, yeah, I mean, it seems pretty identical. The Japanese one feels a little bit more rough with the string itself, but once again, I don't know if it's because this one's brand new and this one isn't. Um, but one other thing I wanted to compare was the string length. So here is the Korean one, once again, in Japanese. We're gonna try to compare the string length. Um, I don't have an exact measurement, but we can get a good idea. Um, so to be honest with you, they're about the same length, if not a little bit longer. I'm not too sure, um, but pretty much identical with everything. And of course, there is just one final test we have to do, and it's the launching. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my stadium, and we're gonna do a test launch or two. We're gonna see if the strength is the same as well. 
All right, so we're gonna do a just mini launch test. This isn't gonna prove anything really, but just to see if it's the same strength for each launcher, we're gonna be using Sieg Excalibur, which is a pretty basic attack type, um, but we're gonna see how the speed lines up. So our first candidate will be the Japanese release. So let's do that. So, pretty powerful as always, but now we're going to try the Korean release. Okay, so I hope you guys saw that. Um, I have been a little bit blurry, but the Korean release made it a lot faster. I don't know, once again, if it's just because it's brand new, but it definitely did its trick, so that's good to know. All right, so just one other thing I wanted to mention is that there has been a few releases of this launcher specifically. We got the original Japanese release, which is coming at about 30 to $40, which is really not worth it when you think about it. That's a lot for one launcher. We also did get a golden recolor, which is exclusive and pretty rare to get. Um, so that's probably gonna cost you even more. And then we do have a blue version on the way. That is gonna be the next main release of this launcher. Because if I remember correctly, the last release of this was months ago. So, um, or almost a year ago. So I'm really glad they're releasing it once again. It, it does come in a really nice blue color. And uh, I would personally wait for that to come out. But if you don't wanna wait, definitely go for the Korean release. You can find it on eBay for about 15 or so which is just a really, really good deal. At this price point, you can't go wrong with it. It's extremely versatile and it lasts you a good while. Both of mine that I have currently that are Japanese, I've had them for about a year now and they do kind of break from time to time, but they're very easy to fix. So um, I might make a video about that later on. But like I said, hands down, the best launcher in my opinion. Um, and then there's one other thing. There is a Hasbro version of this and it's called the Dual Threat String Launcher or something like that. And what I've heard about that launcher is that it breaks pretty easily. So I personally don't own one, but if I were to get my hands on one, I will definitely make a video and let you guys know about it. But as of right now, go with this or wait for the blue release. You really can't go wrong. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it to be helpful. Please let me know what you guys think down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it. So until next time, guys, see ya.